It's a surprise for Natalie. Oh my God. I'm going to attempt to surprise Abby. Do you love it? Oh, it makes me laugh. <laughs> I'm proud of us. I hope you're proud of us too, and I hope that this inspires you. We're Nat and Abby. This is Bear and Peluche, and this is our van to Wanda. After two years of traveling coast to coast of North America, we're making some changes to our off-grid tiny home. Join us every week as we make a little progress and a lot of mishaps. I don't want to mess it up. The back definitely needs to be cut more. This little piece right here makes me nervous. Hello. Hold on. You're dirty. Hold on one second. I'm ready for a new day. I'm going to be finishing sanding this beautiful countertop. But before I get started, I need a couple of minutes to just breathe and unwind before this day starts. I'm going to sit in my mini chair and have a little, a little uh, vitamin D. That's what I'm going to do. You're going to watch me because I want you to be part of this moment with me and Lucci. Okay? Trying to round the edges as much as possible because when we come into the van we have a lot more of a tight space this will be sticking out so i don't want to be banging our hip all the time and uh, getting bruises wow you know how good it feels to know that you got the right height on both sides and you accounted for the live edge hanging over and this one was so hard for us to figure out and this i banged this out in a couple days y'all i'm getting there i'm getting better at what i'm doing uh, Feels so good look at it okay so what i have to do now is i obviously have to cut for the oven i'm a little nervous because i don't want to cut too much you can always cut more yeah i don't want to mess it up obviously that's not a good idea so this is a one shot one shot thing you know i'm going to start at two and a half from the back just in case and then we can always cut more you know what i'm saying you know what I'm saying? This next cut is tricky because it's right on the edge. <laughs> oh my god! All right, let's test this boo boo out. Yeah, it's not quite fitting. Yeah, the back definitely needs to be cut more. So instead of putting the countertop down over the oven, we've set the counter down and now we're gonna put on the oven. So reverse. Gotta, you know, you, you gotta, gotta flip it and reverse gotta it. Gotta brainstorm. Oh yeah? <laughs> <laughs> So it's gonna work, but we have to make a few adjustments. I have to use a jigsaw and do a little jig in some areas. <laughs> so I did my little notches and she fits. It looks so good. I can already imagine like just cooking here and cutting the veggies here. Wow! I'd say you nailed it. I can see your reflection, it's like glass. I see Luce's gotten out all of his toys. I'm gonna put them away and we'll see how long before he gets them all back out. We're gonna be doing this a lot, huh buddy? Gonna make more knobs out of stamps. I love it. Yay. Wow. <laughs> That's beautiful. Okay, what's next? They're gonna put mine on. You hear Luce and his gun. He's playing with his toys, he's so cute. Like so, pretty cool method, eh? That ain't going nowhere. That's kind of it for today. I gotta go back to Lowe's to get some trimming, unfortunately. We're gone over budget, you guys. But still so much cheaper than the first build, so we're doing good. I'll go hang out with my friends today. We'll catch you tomorrow. Hello. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Hello. 
we've had a few days off with friends. It's been really nice. Camera's off. Mm -hmm. It just felt really good to yeah. relax and have some quality time. <sighs> so we're re-motivated and today our to-do list is not super extensive, but I got to work on the partition door that's separating the cab from the home. And then the above attic area. What do you call it? We're calling it our attic. So the, the area cab. above the cab. But it's yeah. storage for the van home. <laughs> yeah. But anyway. We have an attic and a garage. Like any house. Okay? It's just tiny. Face of that will be a little tricky because I got to do a template again, which is my favorite thing to do. It's but, very um, curved. to walk away from the van to tell you guys about my next little project because I don't want Natalie to overhear and ruin the surprise. Natalie's really into poetry. Like now you guys probably already know that. I thought it would be a really cool surprise to burn some of her shorter poems onto some wood trim that I have going into our cabinetry in the van. I just think it will be a really cool personal touch and just a little source of inspiration. Wish me luck because it's hard to keep a surprise from someone who you're with 24-7. I think I use the eraser as much as I use the wood burner. Doing these three as a surprise for Natalie was a really fun way to test it out. I think she's gonna really like it. All finished. There is something for you in the closet. There is nothing for me in the closet. I left a long time ago and I'm not prepared to go back. <laughs> what are you talking about? Well, I think you should go open the closet. Okay. Yours and mine. Oh my God. Oh my God, Abby. You guys, she put my poetry on these blocks and wood burned them and put them around the van. You yes. like it? You really like it? I mean, this is incredible. Are you kidding me? I love you so much. Do I kiss you at the camera? I love you so much. I just wanted to give you a nice surprise. It's incredible. I don't know how, I don't really, with all the words you posted that are written, I don't have a lot of <laughs> words right now, so. I appreciate you. So we put this hinge on in the beginning of our renovations before we decided to do copper everything. So I'm gonna fix this with a little spray paint. Success. Now it matches our decor. You know, I've gotten a lot of use out of this one can of spray paint. I've spray painted this hinge, the toilet seat, some knobs. It's amazing what you can do with this stuff. I did pretty well not getting paint on anything except for this one spot. But that doesn't matter because we are going to be putting a backsplash here. So it's going to be covered up anyway. So I'm going to cut this attic door out in the most ridiculous way, but here we go. Abby, I need your assistance. You need to sit. Don't move. Let's see it. Whoa! Frame and door for our attic. Dark, yeah. She doesn't use this tree as inspiration. Tell them what excited. we decided to do with it. I think we decided on a tree. Then we're gonna cut out the doors in an unusual shape that goes along with the tree. <laughs> It'll open like this and close and be a tree. <laughs> I 100% love the idea of a jagged edge puzzle piece door because straight is boring. But you guys, I gotta be honest, this little piece right here makes me nervous. I feel like it's gonna make opening and closing the doors a lot harder and it's so skinny. 
I just foresee it breaking really easily. When I drew the tree on here, this is not what I had in mind. I actually suggested to Natalie to trace around the trunk of the tree. She didn't listen. If this thing causes trouble or break, it's not my fault, people. It's not my fault. Okay, enough talking. Let's get Bernie. <laughs> I'm going to attempt to surprise Abby while she's working on the tree because she will be in a gaze and work on that for a really long time. We have a main door that comes to here. And then this was just going to be a slide out dog gate, but I have the most ridiculous idea. I'm going to draw Tawanda, carve out Tawanda, and then Tawanda is going to roll out and be the dog gate. Oh, wait here. I know you think it's crazy, but believe what I pulled off. Are you ready to see this freaking thing? No, you're not. Okay, I have to show her because she has to do the wood burning on the detail. So, surprise happens now. Oh my God, hopefully she likes it. Oh baby. All right, step in please. Oh gosh. Okay, please to sit down. All right, I need you to take the camera. Point it down so they can see. Behold, our rollout Tawanda doggy gate. <laughs> I told them I had to tell you the surprise now because you actually have to wood burn in all the details. Uh, Come on! That's one of a kind! <laughs> this like... is hilarious! You did not! <laughs> what the heck, you guys? This thing is so cute. It really made me laugh. And I know it's going to make me smile every day. So, I can't wait to burn it. So we have our hardware picked out. So we were gonna go with the same gate hinge that all the other cabinets have, but these are a little bit more subtle, which is important because this piece is beautiful. It's the best piece in the van. I really feel that way. We have a couple adjustments to make. We gotta do trim and actually secure it. This is the latch we use to keep it closed while we're driving. It's also the knobs. Just flip that off. And voila. Uh, now we have all of our storage up here nice. And then you close it. And it's a work of art. Actually, this one works better to close first because this was a puzzle piece put together. This is might be the coolest thing that's in the van. This van's got a lot of soul I in it. I love it so much. It's ridiculous. Wow. I had the idea for a that tree was... at the beginning of the build and uh -huh. both her and Wendy were like, no, I don't know, I'm gonna take away. And then we put our heads together. You know, I was like, you know, you can't stray from your vision. I realized that through this build. If you have an idea that you wanna do, like just make it happen. Abby has made the art in this mind blowing. We haven't even taken off and it's so cozy. <sighs> I can't wait to be back in this van. I can't wait, you guys were so close. I will admit I was a little apprehensive about the puzzle piece idea, especially when I saw Natalie cut it in that crazy shape, but I love it. It's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Hey. So, you impressed me, I, you nailed it. I, we nailed it. Yeah, we nailed it, you, we did it together. You. So the one thing that was super important to us doing this build and since we took this much time as detail and every little part we did something just just something a little extra it's actually the changing of the seasons if you go through the tree it'll be spring she's going to add a couple of buds so it'll be like colorful buds this is summer 
Then you come into fall, you see the leaves are falling into a little pile here, and then there's no leaves going into winters. Also, Abby hasn't incorporated yet another one of my poems. We have to cut this down. There's actually a poem that she wood burned down the base of the tree. This one says, love was no longer a season, rather mother nature. I wrote that line in a bigger poem for Abby uh, before we got married. Yo, you ever just look at yourself and be like, you're pretty dope. <laughs> like, I mean, I have to admit it. We did a damn fine job on this van, Abby. I'm proud of us. Me <laughs> too. I hope you're proud of us too. And I hope that this inspires you to truly, if you are watching us, just to get into van life, if you're already doing van life and you want to up your build or, you know, whatever you want to, if you want to do anything art related, I'm telling you this, I couldn't think that I could ever have a visual and then execute. And, and there it is. I believe in each and every one of you. You all can do whatever you want to do. And that's my power speech for the day. I feel very humbled by this piece of artwork. We hope you guys really enjoyed this video full of lots of artistic little projects that are really special to us. Yes, and in the next coming weeks, we have a couple of bigger projects, but then we are done. We are back on the road. We cannot wait, oh my God. <laughs> Before then, we wanna get more acquainted with you guys. We have a lot of new subscribers here and we want you to be able to ask us anything. So next week, we're gonna do a Q and A. Whatever you wanna throw at us, we will answer it within reason. This week, we want you to throw them in the comments so that we can gather them up and answer your questions. And, we might make it a little bit more fun. So along with leaving those questions in the comments, we're asking you to give us a dare, a truth or dare challenge. We did this a couple of videos ago and it was a lot of fun it for was. us. Abby and I will both pick one for the other one to do. Yeah, so, so make them good. <laughs> Love you guys, always thank you for sticking around. Make sure you like and subscribe, tell your friends if you haven't, and we will catch you guys next week. Bye. You can't even see me, it's so small. There it is. Okay. No, but now you can't see the chair. Can you see it? Oh my. Okay, that's not working out. Eh. There you go. Okay. <laughs> I'm ridiculous. And I need a tan, okay? I look Simpson character like in the winter, and I'm trying to get my brown back. <laughs> Are you gonna guess here, yeah, little ganda? A little ganda? <laughs> That's Splinter 50, no, that's Splinter 1565 in the last three months. Look at this shit. She's coming in for the double axle. Wait, she's coming. She made it. Well, you should give my revelations to the closet. Metaphors all day, baby. This one. Oh, my spacing all. I don't know if she'll make this a blooper or not, but that is a view. <laughs> Babe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <Arr. laughs> With our powers combined, Abby and I are. <laughs> 420. <laughs> oh my god, this makes me laugh so hard. What the heck? Okay, how's this gonna stay up? Well, There's I have to put it on your design. No, here. I have to put it on the track. Let me see. Did you like this video? I know you did. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave us a virtual hug, aka comment. And be sure to subscribe for all the how not to's on man building.